Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee. Today we're gonna to take a look at the KB90 from La Marzocco and how to go through some of the basic barista level programming. Um, the basic programming menu allows you to access settings like changing your doses, uh, changing the brewing mode on your brew groups if you have the ABR machine um, between brew ratio, mass mode, and volumetrics, uh, as well as you know certain programming things like changing the temperatures in your boiler, stuff that you would probably need to access uh, day to day or week to week in your normal work. So let's jump in and take a look at how to go through the programming menu. So to get into programming mode, you're going to use your group one, which is the leftmost group, and you're going to use the rightmost button. You're going to hold it down for about five seconds. And then all three buttons are going to flash and go out, and that shows you that you are in programming mode. Now that we are in programming mode, um, basically the way these buttons work is you have navigate left, navigate right, and enter. These are also going to be uh, decrement and increment. So um, as you're going through these settings, you can either have navigation or basically minus plus. Um, so just taking a look at our first uh, menu option here, which is group dose settings. I'm going to hit my rightmost button to enter. And you'll see I have options like programming the volume dose, programming the mass dose, and then going into the individual group dose settings. So if I go into the, gr the group dose setting for group one, um, now I can actually see that I can set my my mode from brew ratio to volumetric to mass. So if I enter into that, I can cycle through those options. Uh, now, if I take a look at the other settings uh, in group one, uh, for brew ratio mode, I actually have uh, group one, button one, brew ratio. I have group one, button two, brew ratio. And then I also have a recorded portafilter mass and a recorded coffee mass. Now, I can change all of these from here. Let's say I want to change my button to, I'll turn it down to just 2.15. Uh, Set that, we're all good. Um, now my portafilter mass, if I change it here, I'm actually just changing the value uh, manually. I can also, uh, when I'm back out in normal brewing mode, uh, outside of programming mode, I can record the, uh, the mass of the portafilter by long pressing the middle button. Um, here I can just tweak it. Uh, let's say I have a scale and I've weighed my portafilter and I know that it weighs uh, four, uh, 547 grams on the nose. I can save that here. I can also adjust my coffee mass. So let's say I want to turn it down. Um, and both of those settings are basically to allow the machine to run automatically. So you don't have to check uh, your coffee dose or your portafilter uh, mass every time that you pull a shot. The machine will basically default to those settings uh, until you decide to change them. Uh, now I can back out of that. I can also take a look at group two. Group two is actually run in mass mode right now, so I can show you what that uh, looks like. Um, in mass mode, I have a short press and a long press for both of my program dose buttons. So you'll see I have group, do, uh, group two button one, group two button one long, and the same thing for button two. So I can have four programmed mass doses uh, in mass mode or in volumetric mode. Uh, and just as uh, with group one, I just navigate all the way over to exit that as well. Um, now I'm also able to copy doses between buttons. Uh, essentially I would copy or select copy dose, select the start uh, reference dose and then the button to copy it to. And then I can also reset everything. Taking a look at my other settings, I have scale configuration. Uh, and what that allows me to do is configure how the buttons behave in mass and brew ratio mode. Uh, basically, it allows me to say, I, uh, like, depending on the recipe and the coffee that I'm using, I can tell the, the scale when to predict, when to stop. Uh, right now, I just have them all set to 1.5 grams. We also have an adjustable tear time. That is the time that the scale is weighing what's on it as the shot has started. So before flow has actually hit a cup, but trying to register the weight of the cup on the scale platform. You can change that. Three seconds is actually a pretty good place to start. We can exit out of that. Uh, water dose settings is actually for the hot water wand. Uh, so we can uh, enable or disable it. We can also program it. If I enter programming here, um, basically I go over to the hot water button and press it. And then I can also uh, program a long water dose. So I have a short press and a long press 
and I can program them basically just by turning it on and turning it off as, uh, manually and then the machine will store that setting. Uh, we can also change the seconds if we want. And we can back out of that. Coffee boiler settings is going to be each individual brew boiler. So I can turn them on and off. I can also change their set temperatures. And we can just cycle through all of those. Uh, finally, we hit pre-infusion. Uh, pre-infusion is going to have a wet period and a hold period. So uh, just a few seconds of turning the pump on and then a few seconds of holding before the pump continues and finishes your shot. Uh, we do that per group. Uh, so now we've reached auto clean and auto flush. Now both of these are functions of the steam flush, which automatically runs after you've pulled a shot and removed the portafilter. Um, auto clean is the first stage, which runs steam through the dispersion screen and auto flush is where uh, the steam is finished and it's running water and, uh, uh, to follow up. Um, you can turn either of those on or off from this menu. So we'll just select it and we can say enabled. Um, that's all the functionality that is afforded here in this menu. Um, we have a, another technician's menu where you can actually program how long each of those stages run. So that about covers the uh, barista level programming menu. Again, this doesn't really cover everything that you can program in this machine. It's mostly just that sort of day-to-day -day stuff that you might need to change when you're working with the machine, such as your doses or even your brewing mode and boiler temperatures. Um, again, if you need to access a technician's menu, there is more programming available. Um, it just goes a little bit deeper than most people need to uh, when using this machine and operating it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so thank you for watching. We hope you learned something today. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, we've got all kinds of product overviews, comparisons, recipes, events coverage, and more. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video, and let us know what you think in the comments.